like it, we could always move. <laughs> they said there'd be no violence. It was a robbery. I know, but they said there'd be no violence. What did you expect, Billy? They just hand the money over. There you go, lad. I don't know what I expected. As soon as I saw what was happening, I just wanted out, but they wouldn't let me. They said if I left them in the lairs, they'd come after you and the kids. They came after Tracy anyway. They frightened her. If I'd have bailed out on them, they'd have done more than frightened, and I couldn't get out of it. How was he stabbed? God. They couldn't get the money off his wrist. So they dragged him into the car and he starts waving his knife around. They were just trying to scare him. <laughs> they terrified me. I'm screaming at them for letting go. The next minute, the car's off the road. He's fallen onto the knife and there's blood everywhere. I did everything I could. Everything. The others ran off. There was no mention of that on the news. But I got the car going again, didn't I? I drove him to the hospital. I got him seen to. I saved his life. But there's no mention of that on the news. As far as they're concerned, we're all cutthroats. I did it for you and the kids. I did it for you and the kids. What about him? Has he got a wife and kids? Has he got a wife and kids? I don't know. You know, has he got a wife and kids? Yeah. How many kids? Four. Come on, it's all right for you. You're leaving your firm. Out. What? I'm driving. Get in. We're late enough. I need the car. What for? I'm going down the law centre at half four. Last it round before I decide. Well, couldn't you get yourself a taxi? I could, yeah, but I'm not going to. Oh, well, how long are you going to be there? Then? About an hour. What about me? I'll drop you off now. I can get a taxi back. I'm not giving a taxi back. Oh, that was your advice to me. Well, you'll have to pick me up, then. What time? Uh, six. You might have been finished at six. Well, half six, then. Where? At the office? No, outside uh, Stars. I'm doing some shopping. What are you getting? I don't want you to go. I'm not going to let you go. What are you going to do? Stop me. Where will you go, eh? Spend an hour at your mum's and you'll be ten years out. How will you stick it there? I'll manage. If I didn't tell you you were going to leave, now I've told you, you're still going to leave. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not going to let you. So you said. This is your home, for God's sake. This is what I've worked my fingers to the bone for. This is what's got me into this bloody mess, and now you're leaving it. All our married life, you've always wanted something better. You've never been satisfied. Well, I was. I didn't want this place. I didn't want to get up to my eyes in debt. It was you. You got us into this mess. Now you're spitting in me face. I tell you what I want, Billy. I want peace of mind. And I'm never going to get that with you. It's taken me 20 years to learn it, but my mother was right. Oh, I'm never going to get that with peace you. Of mind. You've got to buy it. You've got to be able to pay your lecky bill. You've got to be able to pay your mortgage. Well, we never had the money to buy our peace of mind, so I had to go out and get it. Not for me, because I was robbing it. I'd never have my peace of mind again, but you would, and rather than say, Tracy, that's why Brandon, I did it. Tracy, the man had kids of his own and wife for four kids and you nearly killed him. So don't come the cave and father bit with me. No, no! Look, I've never needed you more in my life. For God's sake, don't leave me now. The cave and father. Tracy's scared to walk out the door thanks to you. What a wonderful copper my son is. And now the whole world's going to find out his dad's a thief. It'll crucify him. The only job he's ever wanted. A job he lives and breathes for and his dad's ruined everything. Get out of me, In the name of God, what did you expect? What did you expect, woman? We move into this house and you're spending money like it's going out of style. They say we're going to be evicted and you're spending money like it's going out of style. Sit down. I only spent what we needed to spend. You spent it like it was going out of style. You need someone to blame, will you? Not on, Billy. We got the mortgage suspended. We got the insurance you fiddled. I came after a week after. I wasn't so sick, I would have laughed. You're not blaming me, Billy. A man with a wife and four children, and you nearly killed him. You are not blaming me. OK, go. I am going. But you were no different, girl. You were going to go on the game, weren't you, you little slut? I wasn't going to hurt anyone. You and Howman. I you wasn't going to gonna hurt anyone. Bloody Howman. I got hurt. What do you think you did to me? Stopped. What do you think you did to me, eh? It was your fault. You drove me to it. That's how much you needed money, girl. That's how much we needed the money. You were going to go to bed with Howman for it. I'm sorry, I didn't. What? I am sorry I didn't go to bed with him. I'm sorry I ever told you anything about it. I should have kept on seeing him and taken his money. I should have kept on seeing him. <laughs> 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 
That's the first time 